to our correspondent there, Mandakini Gallot. Uh, Mandakini, uh, can you just bring us the latest on that uh, ongoing protest? Right. Spontaneous protests have erupted in uh, campuses across India between last night and uh, this morning. Fresh uh, news of protests or fresh protests is pouring in almost faster than we can keep uh, track of. At the moment, several universities across India are uh, protesting. But let's go back to the beginning. Students at New Delhi's Jamia Millia University had been protesting for the last three days against uh, the Citizenship Amendment Act, a new law. Uh, now, these were largely peaceful protests until last evening, around 6.45 p.m., when police in riot gear surrounded the campus and they began to pull out students and uh, beat them with batons. Si simultaneously, they also lobbed tear gas shells inside the campus, including inside the central library, which is a closed room where uh, approximately 50 students were hiding, uh, many students were injured, they were panicking. By 7 p.m., the police had frog-marched about 50 students with their hands up in the air uh, out of the campus. These images were broadcasted uh, across the country on social media and eventually on uh, television screens. And by then, a call had gone out for another protest outside the Delhi police headquarter. Uh, thousands of people had joined this protest by midnight, demanding that the students who'd been arrested, many of them injured, be released immediately. Uh, several uh, university campuses across the country then threw their weight behind this set of protests. Now, uh, it's winter in Delhi, it's uh, very cold, but these protesters stood outside the police headquarters all night. Lawyers were able to secure the release of uh, the students from Jamia Milia by 3 a.m. Uh, uh, last night. But by now, these protests, like I said, have uh, extended to Bengal, uh, to Ca uh, Calcutta and Bengal, to Mumbai, Chennai, Bangalore, and the list is growing as we speak. So really a very determined movement, and it's being marked across a very vast country, Mandakini. Uh, tell us a bit more about the law and what people are objecting to. Now, essentially, this new law promises to grant citizenship to Hindus, Sikhs, Buddhists, Christians, Jains and Parsis who entered India from Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh until December 2014. Now, the bill leaves Muslims out of that list. Now, this is uh, why students at Jamia Milia uh, had been protesting. Keep in mind that India has a population of 200 million Mus uh, Muslims. The bill is seen as discriminatory and unconstitutional according to several uh, constitutional lawyers and experts here in India. There are several challenges to the bill in India's uh, Supreme Court. To India's Muslim minority, uh, the bill no doubt looks like a direct assault on their rights as uh, citizens. Now, the opposition parties and human rights activists see the new law as part of what they define as Prime Minister Modi's Hindu nationalist agenda. Uh, it's a developing story and protests continue to break out everywhere, even as we speak. OK, Mandakini, we'll no doubt uh, check in with you as things unfold a little bit later on. But for now, thanks indeed.